October 23rd, the seventh day of the week, the Lord's Sabbath. Not tomorrow, but the seventh day of the week. The day that he commands all his followers and the ones that love him to congregate today and worship him in his own way. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's care ministry. Our daily walk with Jesus Day 295 of the year 2010. A poor widow gives all she has. Brethren, I suggest you write this down on chapter and verse so that you can go back and study the whole context, the whole meaning in your own time setting. Also, you can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this video lecture at your own leisure. Well, brother, with that, let's get right on over into the poor widow gives all she has. And do that, we're going to go to Mark chapter 12, verses 41 through 44. Also, we will find it in Luke chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. Then he went over to the collection boxes in the temple and sat and watched the crowds drop in their money. Some who were rich put in large amounts. Then a poor widow came and dropped in two pennies. He called his disciples to him and remarked, that poor widow has given more than all these rich men put together, for they gave little of their extra fat while she gave her last penny. Jesus was in an area of the temple called the Court of Women. The treasury was located there or in an adjoining walkway. In this area were seven boxes in which worshippers could deposit their temple tax and six boxes for free will offerings like the one given by this woman. Gifts that count. In the Lord's eyes, the poor widow had given more than any of the others put together, although her gift was far the smallest. She had given all she had to live on. In contrast to the way most of us handle our money. When we should consider giving a certain percentage of our income a great accomplishment, we resemble those who had given what they did not need. Here Jesus said, admiring generous and sacrificial giving, not only was she poor, as a widow, she had a few resources for making money. Her small gift was a sacrifice, but she gave it willingly. As believers, we should consider increasing our giving, whether of money, times, or talents, to a point beyond convenience or safety. Our need for daily prayer. Undertake for the oppressed and the weak, for women and children, for slaves, and for prisoners. Watch by the bedside of the sleepless. Comfort the heart of the bereaved. Hasten the coming of your kingdom and gathering of your elect. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he had dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Father, bless the gifts we bring to thee. Luke chapter 21 and verse 4. The offerings of God. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, on this Sabbath, make up your mind to follow the Lord. 
Christy. Would love to have your participation. He would love to have you following him. But first you have to obey me. Obey him. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Remember that. Do you want to follow the Lord and go to his kingdom and have eternal salvation? And get down on your knees and repent. Repent of not following him, but following men. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of the letter that the Lord gave to you. That is found in your own Bible. Throughout the pages of the Bible, all of them, is there to show you the love of the Lord. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.